they, they, they don't do what we were doing at the beginning, apparently. I was not following. Because in the beginning, we would get combat units, brigade, this. It goes as a brigade and uh, does the work. That's how they defeated Al Shabaab in all those areas, in Mogadishu and all over. We have never had any big problem with Al Shabaab because we are very capable. So they, they go as a fighting unit. But it seems at some stage, some of the people who organize, they put their, these bodyguards, bodyguards, secretary, I don't know what, what, what you call them, these who are around here, personal assistant, I don't know what. They put their names there, create sort of ad hoc, ad hoc, instead of having integral, integral units, they create ad hoc groups made of bodyguards, made of what? People from uh, cooks. Ah, they say this is now, I think that battalion was called Zuru, that it is battalion Zuru. Now, these people, because Al Shabaab was very weak, had been weakened. It has not been attacking for a long time, and they couldn't attack uh, the defense of NRA, of UPDF. It is suicidal. But because of, of that problem of sending welfare cases, on a combat mission, uh, we suspect that could be one of the problems. Of course, there can also be other problems, like because the, the attack started at what you call in your English way, five, ten past five, when it was still dark, the, now, if people are not well prepared, fighting in the dark can also be another problem. They can just panic for no reason. And yet, there is a way we fight in the dark, very, it's a well-known way. But Al Shabab will, will pay. The the Americans, we don't have a big support forces there, like Air Force and uh, long range artillery and so on. We have, they have light, light equipment, which, which was doing well. But the Americans have some UAVs there. which should, uh, should help, but I don't know what they are doing. They, they came for a little while and then went back. And then the Turkish also have, have uh, some system there, UAVs. If they were all coordinating, there would be no problem, but they don't, they don't. So I was speaking with uh, those people there, uh, Major General, Okidin, who is the force commander, and another brigadier called Brigadier Omola. Uh, and I was telling them that if the, the Turkish and the Americans don't want to support our, our ground forces, we shall support them ourselves. We shall find a way of of intervening more decisively, like we did with the ADF. ADF is, is crushed here in Congo. But this business of not listening to the NRA, because Uganda would never have come up to here if, 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 we, if we had the, 
the mercenary attitude of selfishness, <coughs> of money, of what. But of course, it's a good lesson for our people. They are going to wake up. We are sorry about the death, but it, it is because of, it's not our shabab, it is our internal weaknesses. <coughs> 